spot, yeah? That's yep. quite sweet. And what's that? Uh, plastic. Yeah, this is like 50s, 60s. Oh, look. An old bike. A bicycle reflector, yeah. Screw top, screw top jam jar. What's that? It's a jar. Can't get that out. It's broken anyway, is it? No. I think, so. I think that's a, a coffee, Maxwell House. That's coffee, yeah. Uh, coffee jar. Uh huh. Oh, what's that old one? Screw top. Plain. Plain. Yeah. Yeah, this is where we found the old coach toy. Oh, look. I think it's the gate, look. Oh, it is the gate. <laughs> oh, it's, yeah. Old gate sign, public footpath. like an old oyster shell so we're sort of seven eight miles from the uh, sea here on top of the high ridge so that's been fetched here that's like, that's oyster shell so eh? that's coming rubbish yeah Cell. Not sure if that was washing up liquid or not. Well, I imagine throwing a bottle like that, you. Yeah. Uh. Bit of glass. Fruit bowl, right? Bit of fruit bowl? Yeah, I think so. Bit of glass fruit bowl. Yeah. Broken milk glass? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Another piece there. Bits there. More uh, primroses, look. Julie just said she's found a bit of ridge pottery. Oh yes, definitely. A jam jar, marmalade. Toothpaste. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Chunk of an old pot. Probably a vase type pot. And it looks like a bicycle brake. Yeah. Made in France. Just read that on there. Made in France. Or is it England? <laughs> Made in England. I don't know why. Upside, upside down. I thought I'd see an F and an R. Oh. There's a few bits of pottery here. 
plain and coloured there. Decorative. Another piece there. That's a big old plate by the looks of it. Yeah. Yeah. Quite nice. Tiny little bit of decorative. That's decorative uh, milk glass. Oh, is it? Yeah, so you don't see a lot of that. Is that old? No. Well, I say old, it could be 50s, 60s. Which is 60, 70 year old. Got there? Is that a coin? Yeah, I think so. It is a coin. Is it? Yeah. If it's an old coin, well, it looks like a 1p size. However, if it's an old coin, is it too big for a sixpence? No, I think it is a sixpence. Oh. But, but you're keeping up your run, you know, of finding coins. Wow. Let me have a look. Nice little bit of brown well, white transfer wear. Yeah. Can't tell. Yeah, Julie's been been on the money here recently. Holding the boom. <laughs> boom boom. Yeah, finding coins. Um, and I've just noticed another bit of burn water over there. There it is. Another bit of uh, transfer. Oh, transfer where that looks like a bit of willow pattern. There's a, there's a, there's a chat there, look, with a crook. Perhaps it's not willow pattern. Is that? That building looks like a maybe a folly or. Summer house. Yeah. Yeah, interesting. Let's keep them. It's definitely a coin. Oh, that colour of it tells me it's uh, brassy. So, let's see what that is. That's three coins, I think. Judy's found one on each. No, they weren't all three to work together. There was a 800. 807, 1807, half penny. I think that was George the Third. A uh, 1902, half penny. Oh, look at that on the back of that. That's Italian. And that's Copeland's Spode. That's the first time I've ever seen a bit of uh, Copeland. Maker's Mark. So it's the Italian pattern. It's actually made in England. It's spowed. Wow. I've actually got the uh, Copeland book. Very interesting uh, read. Fantastic. And the old. Yeah. Julie's found a few bits here. That's an old glass headlamp lens. Probably a Lucas. Back in the day. Oh, I know. Well, that was a candle holder. That looks like a bit of a doll. Can't quite make it out, but I think it's been warmed. Maybe they had a fire out. Bit of tile. Bit of a bot burst. Small, small bottle. United got glass blowers. Bottlers, sorry. And uh, 
piece of milk glass. That's a nail varnish, I think. Yeah, Julie found that. Well, bright, right off. Super. Oh, Judy just says she thinks she found she's found another it's coin. Well. I don't know. Could be a lid. No, oh. I've tried to bend it. Oh. No bending it. Oh. Right. We'll take it home and clean it up. Yeah, we'll take it home, but I, but I don't think it's a coin to be honest. But interesting. We'll have a look at that. Back at HQ. Ooh, look. Tiny little bottle, complete. Yeah. Oh, it's a little dink. Oh! It's a little dinky. It's clear. Oh, that's... So it's quite nice. Oh, like that's it. nice. Yeah, I love it. Wow. That's, that's old. Yeah. That'll clear up a bit. Uh, clean up. That'll clean up nice. Yeah. It's not a mark on it. No, yeah, it's lovely. What's that? Yeah. Bit of plastic. Yeah. I haven't seen anything. That's my bag over there. That looks like a train wheel because it's offset off a plastic toy. Yeah. We do know this particular uh, dump is the 50s and the 60s, but we have found old, older stuff here. We found an old pipe here. Yeah, that's right. Well, we have found a clay pipe here, and uh, it is an old quarry. And it's quite interesting, and uh, I hope you are enjoying one of our adventures as we film it. See, it's spring now, so these are all fresh green shoots coming out. And it won't be long before this is overgrown, so it's one of the clearest that we've ever seen it, you know, leafage wise, uh, foliage. And so uh, we should carry on. The shoot, 50s and 60s bottles here. Six feet off. Very liquid. Now we know that's six D. That's the old uh, sign for pence before decimalisation. So we know that's pre nineteen seventy one. That's for sure. Looks like a plain sauce bottle. Screw top. We are looking here, you know, like we don't, what's left of an old lamp light bulb. You know, I know it's not ideal to look, look at 50s and uh, 60s and uh, stuff, but you do find older stuff. Big bottle there. It was well bottled, uh, bottled and buried. Uh, shall we try to dig it out? Okay, we will. Hold on. There you go. I just did it. Red plastic cap look plain. Not sure what that would have been. Yeah, you can see the. Uh, Plastic bags showing through. The scenery is nice. If you look that way, that's overlooking the Weald of Kent. It's 
so much out, out there, it's just knowing where it is. A few rabbit holes out there. Normally, rabbit holes are good because they chuck things out, they dig things out, but there's nothing lying on the surface, so we go. This way. And we know there's lots of stuff in there. We say that bit to last. There's Julie. I don't know what that is. Not sure really. Decorate your pottery. Quite pretty. And a rubber ball. Ooh, a little paste pot. Little paste pot, look. Look how that tree's grown into that bit of plastic, look. Where? Oh. oh yeah. Is it plastic? Yeah, I think so. It's all, I don't know, but it's grown, it's like... Yeah. It's actually bedded in the tree, yeah. It's like an old, old bit of old chopping board or something. We don't know what this is. Very odd. Very odd indeed. Something that's got hot, melted. And what's that? Oh, it's a cap. Ah, all right, just stand it up like, and I'll come get it. Right. It's just found an interesting bottle. Don't know what age it's got on it, but what age it's got to it, so, should I say? I'll have a look. What's that? Hmm. Not sure, it's all a drinking water feeder. Not sure. Could be. I've seen, I've seen similar like in, in chicken coops. Oh. There's a bottle there. Plain, screw top. Perfect. Who's that? What was that? Oh, Judy Fair? Wait, isn't it? It's a shame, mate. I say it's 60 year old. It's different, I must say. Is it amber? I think it's amber. I think I may keep that. See how that cleans up, because it's different. Love the shape. I think that's a caster wheel, rubber, with a nylon insert. And I think that says on there, made in Britain. It does.
I did a cast the wheel, you couldn't climb one, could you? Uh, it looks like a good one. Look you know what I just found. Another one. Two of them. There's the other one. Two. I will keep them, you know. Not for any artistic value, but could be useful. I like useful things, so I shall keep them. Sure, that's another one of them Maxwell, Maxwell Hound coffee jars. And the Lux Dermacell keeps hands smooth. Dishwashing liquid. It's new Lux Dermacell. So, so that'd be pre-1970 as well. Judy's right over there somewhere. You can just see her there. So let's see if I can catch her up. Robinson's jam did look. Remember these well. Honestly made. Honestly better. Yeah, remember them well. Tiny little screw top bottle. Oh. What you got? Well, I found the remains of an old Tupperware bowl, and it's definitely Tupperware because I've checked the bowl. Yeah, Tupperware, yeah. Yeah. Now, <coughs> there's a there's a, there's a lot of plastic, but we can't take it all from no. here. So like, we will be taking uh, some bits, and I think that will be one part of, of it. Right, what's that? Tube of makeup. Complete moisturising makeup. Yeah. Wow. I wonder if there's anything in there. Don't know. I'm not going to open it. The make. Not as adventurous as. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Little old car. Oh yeah, I love the little old cars. That's an angler. Mm -hmm. That is a Ford angler. Anglia. Anglia, yeah. Come out in the 1960s. Yeah. Uh, I used to have one, a black one. Good little car. Tire off of a toy. Yeah, tire. Little bottle. Little bottle, little pill bottle. And in my opinion, the best thing is this. It's a key ring. Old Brands Hatch. Yeah, and there's at the bottom there's a date, but there's the one missing on it. Yeah, I think it would say 1966. Six, yeah, 1966. Uh, we know uh, Brands Hatch well because it's in Kent, up at West Kings Down, and uh, that is a good find. 1966. So that dates this tip quite well, don't it? Yeah. Ah, what's it say on the back? Oh, I don't know. Oh, what does it say anything? Yeah, the. Manu oh, Probably manufacturers. Yeah, yeah. So we're cleaning that up. Oh, look at that. Plastic. Yeah. I was looking at that. That's got some like transformer circuitry. There's another Maxwell House coffee jar. They like their Maxwell House back in the day. Oh, look. Ha <laughs> A little plastic uh, tray, minus its uh, mills. Mills? Wheels. Look at that. Is that a spark plug? Looks like it's pink. It is a spark plug. Yeah. That's for a petrol engine. Right, what am I going to keep out of this? Well, let's say like. We'll, we'll take that a bit of plastic away. Take that. Bit away. Uh, I don't want that at the tower and definitely the brand's edge. Uh, we take that makeup as well. Another bit of a plastic that we're going to keep. Look at that, sweet. And oh, you just found a big spoon. And <laughs> a water pistol. So. No, a bit of plastic, so we'll take that. 
won't keep it, I don't think. Keep that spoon, have a look at that. And put, as I said, put that brand's edge in my pocket. I knew there was some little finds in this corner. All right, none of it's for Victorian, but... Oh yeah, as Judy said, still interesting. Our childhood stuff, so it's yeah, childhood. Interesting on those grounds. Yeah, also. yeah, yeah. It's yeah. We're both kids. Uh, getting on, me. But I was only Ooh. single. Oh, there's a leg. A plastic leg. <laughs> Dolly's leg. Okay. What was the early one? Cindy or Barbie? Well, uh, I think Cindy was first. Ah. I could be wrong though. That looks like to me Czechoslovakian. Uh, we found Czechoslovakian shirts in the past. Not that particular pattern, but that particular style. It rings a bell. And another leg, look. <laughs> Shame they're not ceramic, but. <laughs> Uh, as we were saying, 60s, 50s. Now have a look at this. It does remind us of our children. Oh, there's a little, little dinky bottle with a plastic top. What the devil was that? Yeah, what was that? Oh. And we just spotted the pot refine of the day, I think. I was actually standing on that. That's a nice piece of decorated platter, serving dish. It is an odd shape. There's another little dinky bottle there, screw top. What's that there? Another bit of pottery pattern. So. And that looks like silicone to me, or bill cream. Yeah. What does that say? Chest. Oh, that's cheese burrow. Is it? Yeah, that says cheese burrow on there. So, so that would have been Vaseline. Yep. Whole what? Roller. Roller. It has these little plastic caps now. Oh. oh yeah, hair roller. Yeah. Did you used to have them in your ear? Yeah, sometimes. What? Borrow them off your mum? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Oh, I like this little corner. Right, let's go and pick them bits up. That amber bottle there. Another peel bottle, probably. Screw top, but cute. Fairy liquids, liquids, soles to shoes. <laughs> this section here, I think Judy's already looked through here. Uh, look at the rabbit holes. So I presume they've spurted a lot of this out as they've been digging. Oh, 
hair roller there. Bit of broken, looks like a broken glass. No drinking, drinking glass. Why are these critters have dug this out? Look at that. Cornish wear type. There it is, sorry. What's that? Some rubber. Sure, what that is. There's another piece there. Huh? It's not part of an old tire, that's for sure. That looks like a bit of cake decoration. Cone. Oh, that Cornish wear type. Plastic flower. <laughs> Milk glass. That's complete. Look at that, it's lid. Screw top. To make, I don't recall. Dewberry, dewberry, berry, dewberry, setting lotion. Little squirty thing, look. New York, London. That milk, milk glass jar, that's got its original contents in, look. I was just shoved in, starting to get the uh, soil out. I've come across that thick white cream that's still in there which is quite amazing so that's, that's probably buried upside down or something or the because it didn't have a lid on it gooey look well do you think we've done enough i think so yeah it's Coming up to, would you say, quarter to six at night? Yeah. Well, late afternoon. It's, get, it's getting darker. It's not dark. I mean, no. Carry on filming. Oh, I know. I noticed the uh, camera was starting to struggle. Yeah. Focusing. It was a dull light. As, as people normally say, it, it doesn't really show how dark it is, but it's it's getting that way. It's very grey. Look at these daffs here. Look at the size of them. They're really tall, aren't they? Yeah. They are. yeah. These deaths are every, everywhere. I love spring and the deaths. So, uh, we're safe. ta -da, for now. Uh, and uh, see you on the roundup. Uh, hope, hope you've liked the uh, back to the 60s. Uh, we try to mix it up, we try to be different. And, uh, we haven't been for this uh, trip for about a year, so here we are. So, right, I'm just going to go and have a go at that swing. I won't film it in case I fall off. No, not really. <laughs> Things are fine.
see us find this. I know it's not that old, um, but I quite like it. It's like 60 year old, 65 years old. So it's, you know, it's got a bit of age. Bubbles glass don't normally last that long, especially in the ground, kicked about. It's, uh, I quite like it, but I haven't got a clue what was uh, in it. But, uh, I haven't thoroughly washed it. Obviously, I've still got some water in it, but uh, there you go. Probably won't keep it. I may do, uh, just because it's unique. But uh, anybody knows, let us know what it may have had uh, in it. Well, thanks for watching that one. Uh, we didn't really keep too much, did we? No, not too no, much. No, no, no. And uh, we've got a few more jars and. Yeah. Um, most of them were screw top, mm. so we uh, uh, left them there. I think the only screw top that we uh, fetched back is this one. Yeah. Oh, look, it's still got some soap suds in, in it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. And a bouncy ball. One of them super balls, I remember them. Uh, so I've got a few bits, more uh, pottery for the collection, some uh, plastic toys that yeah. we always keep these. Never know. Love uh, finding the uh, 50s, 60s uh, yeah. plastic toys. Yeah, it's quite a modern dump. Yeah. That looks like it's been chewed. It, it, it does. Probably a dog's got at it. Mm. Uh, spoke about that just now, so no need to mention that again. Uh, that's Julie, yet another coin that Julie uh, found. That's a 1950 Belgium five francs. Um, it's, I managed to get that up uh, clean but that was a, a few days ago but in the meantime it, it's tarnished again and gone, gone back gone back mm. yeah so uh, that's, uh, that's three co three coins uh, Julie's down this season this year uh, that's the Mon this one 1950 yeah but it's still 72, 73 years old. Uh -huh. So it's been in the ground uh, maybe 60 of them uh, years. You never know when people lose things out of their pocket. But it could have been 10 years old. So anyway, thanks for joining us. As you can see, like, we, we like to mix it up. Yeah. Uh, we don't just do Victorian. No. There's other periods. Mm. Some of this is 60 years old. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Could be more, 65. Yeah. Uh, so, like, it gets us out. We mix it up a bit. And uh, it's lovely to have you all come along. Keeps though. us out yeah. of prison. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say it keeps us fed, but we never sell none of it. No. You probably noticed that. And no. To be honest, we would buy it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. well, some of the Victorian uh, stuff we found, but I uh, no, can't be asked. No. So, that's for now. Yeah, thanks Cheerio. for liking, thanks yes. for subscribing. Yeah, absolutely. Leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Uh, we do answer every single word comment. It may, it may take a while uh, sometimes, but... Hang on a minute, we don't answer it. Oh, yeah. You, you answer yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> I, I answer it, yeah. So, toodle pip for now. Yeah, and, uh, toodle pip. Catch you on the next one, yeah? Yeah, see you later. Yeah. Bye. 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 Whoops, nearly forgot. The Brands Hatch Motor Racing uh, Circuit Key Ring from 1966. Uh, we know this well, up in uh, West uh, King, Kingsdown. Uh, it's not that of, far from where we live really, is it? No, 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 no. In the middle of Kent, not too far away from, uh, where would somebody know? Maidstone? Mm. Uh, seven oaks, seven oaks, I suppose. So, we have a nice uh, find, mm. and it is a, a limited issue as it's stamped number 303. And if you see the way that's uh, stamped, that's been hand stamped. So, uh, maybe it's a souvenir for something, yeah. Maybe 1966 was an anniversary for yeah, something, yeah, right? yeah. Perhaps it was given to drivers, anyway. That's definitely it now. So, uh uh, as we said, thank you for watching yeah. and uh, we'll see you soon. Yeah, see you soon. Bye for now. Bye bye.